So the Reform Party are showing just how disgusting they are, as per usual. <clears throat> so this recent Channel 4 undercover investigation has just shown just how evil some of these people are. And this is in Clacton, of all places. So Reform UK activists filmed making racist room comments about Rishi Sunak and other immigrants in general. And so Andrew Parker, that's this, this person here, who is canvassing in Clacton, also described Islam as a cult and suggested asylum seekers should be shot. Because we're not, we're not going to watch the video. We're going to just go straight through the article. So, <clears throat> so this person in Clacton, where Nigel Farage is standing, has been secretly filmed making extremely racist comments about Rishi Sunak as well as is using Islamophobic and other offensive language. <coughs> Farage says he was dismayed by the views expressed by Andrew Parker, a reform canvasser, who was filmed as part of an undercover investigation by Channel 4 News. The channel also secretly filmed George Jones, a long-time party activist who organises events for Farage, making homophobic comments, calling the pride flag degenerate and LGBT people nonces. Absolutely disgusting. The emergence of the footage, filmed of which concluded last week, comes on the same day that Farage dropped an election candidate in, in another seat after The Guardian informed the party that Raymond Saint had been on a list of members of the British National Party. The most serious comments uncovered by Channel 4 News involved Parker, who was covertly filmed making them while canvassing and travelling by car around Clacton, where Farage is a favourite to unseat the incumbent Conservative, that's Giles Watling. <coughs> During one journey, Parker described, described Sunak as an effing P-word. Surprised they let the, the F-word in the article, actually. He said, I've always been a Tory voter, but what annoys me is that effing P-word you've got in. What good is he, you tell me, you know? He's just wet, effing useless. Telling the reporter who is posing as an activist, emphasise illegal. If discussing migration with which with minority ethnic voters, Parker called Islam a cult, saying we're effing kicking all the Muslims out of the mosques and turning them into weather spoons. Yeah, good luck with that. Not in one doorstep con conversation with a voter, Parker suggests shooting asylum seekers who tried to come to England on small boats. <coughs> Excuse me. You've got deal, haven't you? He said, referring to the town in Kent, <clears throat> the place near Dover. Army recruitment. Get the young recruits there. Yeah, with guns on the effing beach. Target practice. Effing just shoot them. In another covertly filmed exchange at a pub in Clacton, Jones reacts with scorn when he sees a police car going past displaying a pride flag. He says, you see that effing degenerate flag on the front bonnet? What are the old Bill doing promoting that crap? They should be out catching nonces, not promoting the effers. You know what, just forget it. Later explaining what he says will be policies for a future reform government, he, Jones says, our police officers will be paramilitaries. They won't be police, and the party should bring back the noose. He wants to bring back the death penalty. Just for being immigrants. Fucking disgraceful. In a statement to Channel 4 News, Parker said Farad and Reform were not aware of his views. Yeah, sure we weren't. And he was sorry, yeah, sure you are, if he had reflected badly on them and brought them into disrepute. I would like to make it clear that neither Nigel Farad personally or the Reform Party are aware of my personal views on immigration. They are now. He said, any comments made by me during those recordings are my own personal views on any topic I commented on. 
At no time before I was sent out to Congress that I've discussed my personal views with any representative of the Reform Party or Nigel Farage. Yeah, right. Farage says, I am dismayed by the reported comments of a handful of people associated with my local campaign, particularly those who are volunteers. They will no longer be with the campaign. Too late. The appalling sentiments expressed by some of the in these exchanges bear no relation to my own views. Those are the vast majority of our supporters or reform UK policy. Some of the language used was reprehensible. That's an understatement. While the police swiftly distanced itself from the rhetoric, or the party swiftly distanced itself from the rhetoric, it is the latest in a series of controversies in which reform candidates or other party figures have been shown to have said offensive, blank, offensive things or held extreme views. Yet so many of them. This month, the Reform UK candidate Grant St. Clair Armstrong, pretty hard to read name, resigned after it was discovered that he had previously encouraged people to vote for the BNP. The party has not yet appeared to have taken any action against its candidate in South and East and Rochford, who was reported as having said arriving asylum seekers should be slaughtered. Leslie Lilly made the comment in a Facebook post in 2020. The Times reported, also referring to more scum entering the UK. So yeah, and um, well, one other thing which wasn't mentioned in this article was in a video the the canvassers apparently in paramedic, and he said that if well the Muslims were brought into the ambulance, he should not put oxygen in them. So yeah, another disgusting thing. So this this is basically. The latest news in Reform UK's racism. And a lot of people are actually supporting this, just like with Ben Habib's frown with more comments and so on. Yeah, so, and apparently in the latest MRP poll, they're going to win 18 seats. So, yeah, that's, that's for the status of this country. And they want to be in government by 2029. No, never. We're going to make sure this never happens. We're going to make sure Farage doesn't win or any other reform candidates. Make sure we get zero seats. Yeah, so that's the latest for today. So, yeah.